So what I'm trying to do, Mr. Noseworthy, is create the ultimate board game. The ultimate board game? Yeah. I'm taking all the best stuff from the other games and putting them all into one. Right now, I'm working on Trivial Scrabble Dominopoly. <laughs> See, you take the Trivial Pursuit question and put him in the community chest from the Monopoly board while you spell out the answers using the Scrabble tiles as you move around the board with the dominoes. Unless, of course, there's a hotel on Park Place. Then you lose all your vowels and you gotta think your little hat here. George, <laughs> don't you have some uh, homework you're supposed to be doing? Magazine Target. Ooh, yes, it's the latest issue of Leonardo DiCaprio Weekly. Weekly? <laughs> and for you, Tanya? Oh, all right, it's my Chinese astrology book. And Kevin? Yes. It's the rare hockey cards that I ordered six to eight weeks ago. <laughs> and this very heavy box is for you, Mr. Noseworthy. Ah, excellent. The new books I ordered for English class. <laughs> Joy! Now, 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 These are very interesting new books, carefully chosen for their ability to stimulate your young minds. Whatever. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. Ah! Short stop in the rye. Very good. Ooh, Lord of the Caterpillars. Excellent. Ah, yes. Moby Fred. <laughs> Hold on a minute here. Where's the Schmoog Silverstein book I ordered? Schmoog Silverstein? Yes, Tanya, Schmoog Silverstein. See, there he is right there. I carry a picture of him wherever I go for inspiration. He was the greatest hippie ever. I thought his book, Tune Out, Drop In, and Rip Off the System, would be excellent teaching material. He looks like our garbage man. <laughs> You know, I used to be a student activist myself once. Of course, you're probably wondering what I'm talking about, aren't you? Yes, but we don't really care that much. Well, <laughs> that meant that when the school did something we didn't like, we'd organize a demonstration or a school strike or something like that until they gave us what we wanted. <laughs> Is this what you're looking for, Mr. Noseworthy? Uh, no, Sarah, that's a piece of paper, generally speaking, Books consist of more than one page. Hmm, it's a note from the school board. What? They won't allow me to use the Schmoog Silverstein book. Oh, well, too bad. But kids today have to learn that there's more to life than Walkmans and rollerblading. <laughs> you see what I mean, Schmoog? Gee, you're really into this Schmoog guy, aren't you, Mr. Ed? Yes, Tanya, I am. You know, I met Schmoog once back in 1969. <gasps> 1969? Was that the year of the dog or the year of the rat? I'm not sure. It's really not that... Oh, I better look it up. <laughs> Morgan, of course. Don't you see, Morgan? This is censorship, plain and simple, and I won't stand for it. So are you with me, Morgan? Yes! Huh. I always thought Leonardo's favorite color was red. <laughs> Man, this is such a good magazine. Yes, but what if the school board tried to take that magazine away from you? What? They're going to make Romeo and Juliet, too. Without him? <laughs> Never mind. Kevin. Kevin? Kevin. Hmm? Oh, hey, what is it, Mr. N? I don't suppose you'd care that the school board is banning the Silverstein book. Silverstein book? No, it can't be. Kevin, are you mocking me? No, sir, Mr. Wren, I'm dead serious. This is an outrage. Yes, exactly. First of all, we have to fight this... Are you sure you're not mocking me? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Well, I was thinking of a sit-in. See, that's when the students occupy an office. Yes, well, we have to do something. How do they expect us to play another game without it? <laughs> then we distribute leaflets and... and, and uh, ga game? Yeah, the Silverstein book. It's essential to all hockey coaching. You know, Joey Silverstein. Legendary NHL center. Joey Silverstein. Yeah, he's the one who wrote the book, How to Shoot the Puck into the Net. It's a classic. 
sick of telling me everything I know. Why do they want to ban it anyway? And now, Kevin, if I told you that all of this has nothing to do with uh, hockey, I probably couldn't count on your support, could I? That's what I thought. George! I think I got this thing all figured out, Mr. Noseworthy. Huh? If you answer a science and nature question wrong, <laughs> then you go directly to jail, unless, of course, it's a double word score. <laughs> then you get the R and R railroad, but you still go to jail, child. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> well, Sarah, I tried. Tried what? I tried to motivate you young people to change things, but... What things? Oh, this is only the beginning. You mark my words, young lady. First they ban a book, then next thing you know, they're telling you what kind of music you can and cannot listen to and how to dress, and before you know it, the... you won't even be allowed to rollerblade in the school anymore. What? I won't be allowed to rollerblade anymore? Yes, they'll stop that. Wait a minute. Are you allowed to rollerblade in school? Um, yeah. Well, they'll take rollerblading away from you. Who do they think they are? Just because they're old and I'm little doesn't mean they can boss me around all the time. That's right, Sarah. It doesn't. But if you work with me, we can change all that. Really? First, we need a manifesto. A many who? <laughs> You, Mr. Noseworthy? Yes, Sarah, that's me. That picture was taken just before the We Demand a Demonstration demonstration. <laughs> oh, how I envy you to be young and idealistic again, ready to stand up for your rights and fight for what you believe in. Your hair was funny looking. <laughs> yes, well, uh, we have work to do. Let's get going on that manifesto. What's a manifesto? <laughs> well, it's a statement we make to the man. Right. The man. Which man? The man, Sarah. The guy in charge. You know, the uh, president of the school board. Right. The man. We don't dig his scene. It's not groovy. Yes. Now is the time for subversive activity, man. No more imperialist fascists running the system, man. Now you've lost me completely. I'll, uh, I'll write something up for you. Rollerblading too, okay? <laughs> the Upper Redwood High Student Revolutionary Committee from Council has spoken! Yeah! Power to the students! Until you apologize for what you did. Never! Sarah, we still have a lot of questions about this. Yeah, like why? Because I'm not a pawn of those imperialist pigs! What did you just say? I'm not sure. Attention! 
attention, everyone. Oh, no. Oh, no. The school board heard the broadcast that our little revolutionary sister Sarah here made today. And, Mr. Roseworthy, we can explain. And no need to, Morgan. The school board has decided to lift the ban on Schmoog Silverstein's book. Congratulations, Sarah. Victory! <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, heaven. Oh, joy. Another book that we get to read. <laughs> yes, let's go dancing in the streets. Woo! <laughs> Wait a second, Mr. Noseworthy. Why did the school board cave in so easily? Well, it seems that the... Uh, the school board elections are coming up, and they're worried about bad press. You stuck into the system, man! Yes! <laughs> Did anybody else notice that Mr. Noseworthy was dressed unusually? Wait a second, Sarah, you're brilliant. I am? Guys, do you realize what just happened here? Oh, oh, Sarah did the show for me, and then we all got mad at her. And then Mr. Noseworthy came in, and now we're not mad at her anymore? No. No, no, that's not what I meant, George. Don't you see? The school board changed its policy. Yeah, so? Because of a statement that Sarah read on the air? Oh, my gosh, Morgan, you're right! Well... Girls, this is all very fascinating, but I have to get back to goofing off and not caring about my education. Kevin, <laughs> we can make them change stuff. Hang on. You mean that we can make them change anything? Yes, Kevin, don't you see? The school board doesn't want any bad press, so they have to give in to any demands that we make on the air. Anything we want? Probably. Hello, five-day weekend. Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we try to make another demand to see if it'll really work? Yes, good idea. Okay, everybody think of something that you really want changed in the school. Attention students, this is your revolutionary sister Sparkly Spice speaking. It is time for the imperialist pigs that run the school to stop oppressing the students. We demand that the cafeteria stop serving meatloaf. Meatloaf! <laughs> students have Spoken. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, we sure showed them. Yes. <laughs> Woo! You know, I'm even beginning to understand the big words I'm saying now. Okay. I still like my demand for a new grading system. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Well, C stands for cool. Uh -huh. Cool. D stands for darn good. Uh -huh. F stands for fantastic. <laughs> what about A's and B's? There's A's and B's? <laughs> Well, it's not as good as my demand. <laughs> no more shoes! <laughs> the school board came! No more meatloaf! Woo! 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 In my day, we protested against war, but I suppose meatloaf is important, too. You know it, man! <laughs> the yes. students! All right! Come on! We can do anything. There's no stopping us now. <laughs> Goodbye, shoes! And now, fellow repressed students, here's an update on our latest victories. <laughs> Teachers will no longer use that chalk that makes the annoying squeaky sound. Teachers themselves will no longer make that annoying squeaky sound. <laughs> All of the Zed courses will focus entirely on hacky sack. There will be a separate lane for rollerblading, and homework is optional on Stone Cold Steve Austin's birthday. <laughs> the school board is looking into how much it'll cost to replace every single classroom chair with lazy boy recliners. That is all. This is Revolutionary Sister Sergeant Panda signing off. <laughs> well done, my yes. Revolutionary Sister. So what do they have for us today? Well, well, you have a choice of either pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken wings, or chips. What? No nachos. Don't worry, George. I'm going to mention it when I make my 3 o'clock demand. Did I mention how completely cool and groovy this whole thing is? Ah, uh, six times. Just checking. <laughs> teachers are dweebs. Teachers are dweebs. I love the new school bell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. It's time for class. <laughs> You know, this is probably one of my more difficult new courses. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, everyone. 
I had to take a drink at the chocolate milk fountain. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. You know, Morgan, something just occurred to me. Oh, what, that we should be using our new freedom and power for more important things? <laughs> Don't be silly, no. <laughs> I was thinking we should really thank Mr. Noseworthy. Mr. N. What for? Well, he's the one who turned us on to this whole far out thing. We owe it all to him, man. Um, I was the first one to read a statement on the air when all you guys didn't care about anything. <laughs> Sarah, be quiet. We're trying to talk here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mr. Noseworthy did do it. everything. You know, we should go and lay our gratitude on him, man. Yeah, let's check on down to his office. <laughs> Fine. You guys go to your little love-in with Mr. N. In the meantime, I have some vampire elves to slay. <laughs> Janitor? What the? What's going on here, Morgan? I don't know. This is Mr. Noseworthy's office, isn't it? Yes, Tanya. It is. Mr. Noseworthy, what are you doing? I'm getting more borax. No, that, that's not what I meant. Mr. Noseworthy, why are you dressed like the janitor? Because I am the janitor. Oh, well, that would probably explain the... Wait a second, you're the janitor. Why? Well, the school board felt that because the students were protesting so much that uh, I must have been doing something wrong, so they fired me. Well, why are you the janitor? Job was open. I took it. This is an outrage, Mr. Noseworthy. They cannot do this to you. Morgan, they already have. Besides, it's not so bad being the janitor. Really? Yeah, who needs all the challenge and excitement of being a vice principal when you can spend your days cleaning toilets and uh, mopping up vomit? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, there's a particularly nasty urinal stain I've been working on for the past hour that I should be getting back to. See you later. Bye, Mr. Ren. Oh, and uh, don't go uh, littering in the halls. Huh? Don't worry, we won't. You know, these days I just love doing my homework. <laughs> hey, Morgan, <clears throat> what do you think of this demand? Instead of the cafeteria, we have the lafeteria. <laughs> you see, the clowns make the food. And the monkeys serve it to us. And they wear little black tuxedos. No, Kevin, I really don't know about this whole thing anymore. Okay. Forget the tuxedos. How about pajamas? Oh, Kevin, Mr. Noseworthy was fired because of us. Oh. Mm. It was because of our demands, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And now we have all this neat stuff, and he's the janitor, and he has to clean up disgusting things, and it's all our fault. Poor Mr. Noseworthy. If only there was some way we could help him. Wait a second, Sarah. Maybe there is if we all stop making demands. <gasps> I think I see what you're saying. Hey, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? Kevin, it could be the only way. Think about it. If we stop making demands and there'll be no more problems with the students, and then the school board will have to rehire Mr. Noseworthy back. Hey, it's so crazy. Just my work. Hey, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You people are insane. Do you hear me? Insane. For the first time in our lives, we have control over something. You want to give up this paradise that we've created? You want to give up the buffet table? You want to give up the video game classes? You want to give up the life-size replica of Ella McPherson and the calf? What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was one of mine. I meant to tell you about it. <laughs> there was one. Oh, yeah. You want to give all that up so that a vice principal can get his job back? Yes. When did this become the bizarro world? Okay, that's really good. Let's write up a statement. Morgan, okay. wait! Kevin, <clears throat> look at it this way. Sooner or later, they're going to hire somebody to replace Mr. Noseworthy. Maybe somebody worse, like Miss Atoll. <laughs> Let's write up a statement. <laughs> Yes, fellow prisoners, it is now official. The Upper Redwood High Students' Revolutionary Front Committee Council has been disbanded, and we take back all of our demands. And in return, the school board has agreed to rehire Mr. Noseworthy and make him vice principal again. This, of course, comes as yes. wonderful news to all of us, and it goes without yes. saying that we're very fond of our dear vice principal. <laughs> I really hope you're happy. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, 
So, I'd just like to thank you all once again for getting my job back. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Mr. Noseworthy. I guess we all got a little carried away. Well, I suppose I did push all that student activism stuff a little hard. Anyway, I, I appreciate what you did for me. Anytime, Mr. Noseworthy. Yes, anytime, Mr. Noseworthy, you want us to sacrifice a virtual paradise for you. Just let us know. <laughs> Why, thank you, Kevin. Hey, Mr. N. Check it out. I invented a totally new board game. Really, George? Oh, yeah. I gave up on trying to combine all the other games and came up with one of my own. It's called the Far Out 60s Game. Can you dig it? <laughs> so, how do you play? Uh, what are the rules? Rules? Yes, George. Usually there's... Oh, no, there's no rules, man. These are the 60s, man. There's no rules, no boundaries, no constraints. Everything's just... Ruby. <laughs> yes, but uh, how do you play? Like this. Oh, a five. Cool roll, man. They can do something like this. Second thought, I'm glad the 60s are over. <laughs> Understanding. Sectarians. Okay, whose turn is it? Mine. Roll away, Morgie. Oh, cool. Oh. A six. That means you gotta answer a groovy question. <laughs> <laughs> whose steam is it? And why is it freaking them out? I have no idea. Uh, okay. Wrong answer. The answer is there is no answer, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. My turn. Oh. Whoa. One. <laughs> that means you are one with the universe. Okay, okay. Does that mean it's groove out time again? Yep. Again? <laughs> hey, those are the rules. Everybody's got to groove out. Come on. <laughs> That's it. I win. How did that happen? Win? Hey, I invented the game. Oh, that's <laughs> this guy. Hey, Let's hey, get this hey, guy. Hey, peace, peace. You invented uh, make, make love, not war. Hey, give peace a chance, please. Yeah. <laughs>